today we will be talking Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bella Stone and today we'll go over some one wheel pint accessories and upgrades. We'll talk about pricing, installation, and my overall thoughts on each accessory. I've been really excited to upgrade my board because I've definitely gone over some terrain that has worn out some parts. So I'm just pumped to get all of them installed. So let's jump right in. But now let's actually take this board out on a spin and see how all the accessories are on the road. Before I actually go out on the board, let's put on some more appropriate attire for the weather. Oh, and the most important part, to keep ourselves safe and others around us. Now we're ready to go. The Mag Handle Pro was the accessory I felt I needed the most, since carrying around the weight of the board has produced calluses on my hands. This is the biggest functionality upgrade of the day, as it provides an improved handle to make carrying the board around a bit more comfortable. The Mag Handle Pro is constructed of aluminum with a rubberized grip for an extra comfortable and premium feel over the standard plastic handle. The pint fender protects you and your clothes from the wheel kicking up dirt or mud. If you've ever rode over a rocky path or just cruised around in wet environments, you'd already know that a fender is a must for everyday use. I figured it was time for a fresh set of bumpers, as it's recommended that you swap them out once the high density plastic has worn down to the height of the screws, which should be about once a year depending on your use. I also went with the red style charger plug. However, this isn't just a cosmetic accessory. They serve as a shield against whatever could possibly be flying into your charger port, whether it be gravel or rain. Due to its durable and flexible silicon construction, it fits snug into the port and won't hurt the internal connectors if the board was to land on the plug. To switch up the look of my board even further, I chose some dark olive rail guards to keep my board clean and looking unique. They are made of strong plastic with a thick adhesive. The wooden finish on the pint looks phenomenal, and I definitely prefer having a touch of the classic skateboard look, as opposed to the sleek, futuristic look of the stock foot pads. 
The only con I have to note about these accessories is that I notice an extra level of sensitivity required for the front sir stance pad to register pressure on both halves of the front while actually launching the board. I don't know if this is due to possibly user error while I was installing the connector or if the pad itself is actually more sensitive, but either way, it was noticeably harder. left foot on the tail of the board and then you're going to straighten out your front foot straighten it out oh god all right straighten out your front foot like not the other way now you're gonna push down and then slide your foot up like hot like jump you're gonna have to jump you kind of gotta do that though. that was a, like the yeah, right that's the right premise idea. of it yeah don't lean back you gotta come in The animal of the day today is the Dumbo octopus. They get their name from their fins that resemble Dumbo from Disney. They're also called Grimpoteuthis bathynectus. There are about 17 species of Dumbo octopi. They move by flapping their ear-like fins and they use their arms to steer. Their arms are connected by a web of skin, and this makes them look like umbrellas when their arms are fully spread. They are typically 7.9 to 12 inches long. The Dumbo octopus is the deepest living genus of all known octopi. It lives at least 13,100 feet below the surface. The Dumbo octopus has been seen in New Zealand, Australia, California, the Philippines, and New Guinea. Thanks for tuning in everyone and checking out those One Wheel Pine accessories. There were definitely a lot that we covered today, so let me know in the comments down below which ones were your favorites, ones that you maybe have on your boards, whether it be the Pine or the XR, let me know down below. And if you are interested in innovation, technology, and sustainability tips, don't forget to subscribe. And lastly, if you did enjoy the video today, don't forget to like. I also have been posting some interesting new topics over on Instagram and Twitter related to NFTs. I posted this reel right here where I dressed up as a dead fella, even more specifically, Betty. It was so much fun. So if you're interested in those topics or even seeing my updates on videos coming up, don't forget to check those out. But thank you overall for the support, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye.